In this video series, we're going to see how to have a cluster of RabbitMQ deployed as Docker containers, and later we'll see how to connect our applications and publish and consume messages through these cluster of RabbitMQ. So stick with me to find out more. What's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video series, we're going to see how to have a cluster of RabbitMQ deployed as Docker containers. And later we'll also try to connect our applications written in Node.js to these RabbitMQ nodes and publish and consume messages. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as it is written in the official website of RabbitMQ, the RabbitMQ is the most widely deployed open source message broker. So the RabbitMQ is lightweight and easy to deploy on premises and in the cloud. It supports multiple messaging protocols. RabbitMQ can be deployed in distributed and federated configurations to meet high scale and high availability requirements. So in this video, that's what we are trying to do. So I'm going to switch to my terminal and in here, the first thing I need to pull the management image from the Docker hub. So I'm going to say Docker pull RabbitMQ, the version, which is my desired version. And next I'm going to hit enter. This is going to try to pull the image from the Docker hub. So because I have the image, it won't be pulling it once again. And if you don't have this image, it'll try to first download the image and then we'll move to the next steps. So next I'm going to create a container of this image that I just pulled. So I'm going to say docker run dash dash host name. I'll pass rabbit as the host name. I'll provide a name. So I'll say dash dash name rabbit. Again, I'll pass rabbit. I'll provide dash dash rm. So I want this container to be removed after I finish my job. I'm going to provide dash IT. So it will run in the interactive mode. I'll say dash dash net to provide my network for my containers. So I'll say host as the value. So it is going to use my hosts machines network. And at the end, I'll provide my image name. So I'll say rabbit mq the version that i just pulled and next i'll say slash bin slash bash so basically i'm going to run a terminal inside this container providing these options that i passed to it so i'll hit enter and i'm now inside the container i'm running the slash bin slash bash and as we can see i am the root user inside the rabbit which is the host name that i just provided in my command so the first thing that i need to do in here is to run three nodes of rabbitmq so then i'll be able to connect these nodes to each other and have a cluster of rabbitmq nodes so i'm going to first declare my environment variables so rabbitmq node port in which i'll provide a port the RabbitMQ server start args, which is the RabbitMQ management listener, the port of the management UI. The next is the RabbitMQ node name, which I'll provide rabbit as the node name for my first node. And next I'll say RabbitMQ server dash detach to run in the detached mode. So if I hit enter, it'll try to run my first cluster of RabbitMQ. So if I go to Chrome in the localhost port 15672, in here I use guest as the username and also for the password. So if I hit enter, I see that I'm now logged into the admin UI and in here I see my only node that is running currently. And the next thing I'm trying to add my cluster nodes to this node so moving back to the terminal i'm going to use the previous command just changing the ports to another port so i'll be able to run another instances and also i'll try to change the name 
to whatever name that I want. If I hit enter, this will try to create another node. So if I go to localhost with the port of 15673, I'll be able to access the management UI for the second instance. So I'll do another one. I'll try to create another instance and I'll just change the name and also the ports that they are listening for. So if I hit enter in here, I'll be able to create my next instance. So apparently I've got three nodes that are running in their own ports with their own unique names. And also I've got my admin UIs, which I'll be able to see the connections, the channels, exchanges, queues, and also the admin section. So the next thing I have my instances up and running. For example, if I go to the second instances admin UI, also I'll use the guest for the username and for the password. I'll try to log in and in here I'll be able to access the admin UI for the second instance. So I'm going to exit this for now. The next thing I'll try to connect all my nodes together so I'll be able to have a cluster of RabbitMQ. So I'll try to switch to my terminal and in here the first thing I'll try to stop the instances. So I'll say RabbitMQ CTL N the name of my node stop app. So this will try to stop my second instance. So next I'll try to connect my instance to the cluster. So I'll say rabbitmq ctl n hair join cluster rabbit at sign backticks hostname s. I'll close the backticks and I'll hit enter. So apparently this is trying to connect my node to the cluster. And next I'll try to start my instance. So I'll say rabbitmqctl-n start underline app. Oh, I forgot to provide my node's name. So I'll say here and I'll hit enter. This will try to start my second instance. And if I go to Chrome, in here I see that a new member added to the cluster and it is up and running and it is ready to accept messages. So I'm going to do the exact same for my third instance. So first of all, I'll try to stop it. The next thing, I'll try to join the node to the cluster. So I'll just change the name and I'll hit enter. And the next thing I'll try to start my third node, I'll hit enter and I'll try to go to Chrome. In here again, I see that the third node is added to the cluster and now it is also up and running and ready to accept connections. So I'll try to switch to the admin section in here in the policies section i'll try to create a policy so that i'll have a rule set to the publishers and consumers to use all nodes so i'll pass a name pattern will be dot so everything will be included it'll try to apply to exchanges and queues the priority will be one definition i'll set ha mode to exactly HA params to three with the type of number. And the next thing, the HA sync mode will be automatic. And I'll try to add my policy. So I'm all set up and ready to accept connections. So in the overview section, I can see all my nodes are up and running. So if I try to create a queue, I'll pass tasks as the value that will be durable auto delete set to no and I'll add my queue in here in the overview in the features tab I see that the policy has been applied to the queue and in the deployment of the RabbitMQ cluster 
we're all set up and ready and in the next video i'll try to create a node app and connect to these three nodes and try to publish and consume messages so stick with me in the next video which i'll put the link down below and also i'll put all my configurations and code in my git repository which also i'll put the link in the down below and with that that's all for this video if you have any questions just go ahead and ask me in the comment section also in the upcoming videos we'll try to automate this process so we'll be able to simply deploy this rabbitmq cluster in our production environments just don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next videos